A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Every Sunday before the Feast of Christ the King, the Gospel talks about the second coming of Jesus because it's near the end of the church year. Although talking about the end times is something that fascinates several Christian denominations as well as writers of books like the Left Behind series, the focus of today's Gospel is how we prepare for Christ's return, rather than about the last things. Ultimately, the moral of the story is that we know neither the day nor the hour, so we need to stay awake and be ready. And the best way for us to stay awake is by following Christ's example. In the prayer that Jesus taught us, he says, Thy kingdom come, on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, while the kingdom of God is in heaven, we are to build the kingdom of God on earth as well. And when Jesus began his public ministry, that is exactly what he did. Not only did he heal the sick, expel demons, and even care for the poor and destitute, he also taught us the difference between the kingdom of the world versus the kingdom of God. In other words, in a perfect and utopian world, he tells us how the world would be run if God were in charge. But he didn't just stop with his words. He proved them by his actions. He showed his faith in God by his good works. And that is how we stay awake and be ready. We follow Christ's example by ministering to the sick, caring for the poor and destitute, and using our words to help others understand the kingdom of God in relationship to the world. That is how we are prepared for Christ's return. We can't simply wait for the kingdom to come to us. We must build the kingdom in the here and now. We can't just talk the talk. We must also walk the walk. Otherwise, we might have faith in God, but without works, our faith is hollow. Or, as St. James says, faith without works is dead. In other words, we can't be ready for the kingdom of God to come 
if we don't first build it here on earth. Otherwise, we will be like the five foolish virgins who didn't bring any oil to keep their lamps lit on their journey to meet the bridegroom. They don't meet the bridegroom because they had to buy more oil on account of their being unprepared. Whereas the five wise virgins were prepared and got to meet the bridegroom. So in order for us to be prepared for the returning of the kingdom of God, as well as the return of Christ, our bridegroom, we need to use our words and good works to build the kingdom of God on earth in the here and now.